Welcome back to the bench. Today I'm going to give you an update on the drive motor and electronics for the projector screen project. Um, I have mocked up here a circuit um, which has a motor controller and an infrared receiver uh, in order to control this motor. This also has Wi-Fi for future um, enhancements and I do have a, a magnet I've just sort of stuck onto the shaft here which I will be using to count revolutions but I don't have the Hall Effect sensor installed yet. So let me just start by showing you what works and then I'll talk about the problems in the system and what I plan to do in order to fix them. So I'll plug it in. Um, this is the remote for my projector. When I click the power button You might even have seen that ramp up in speed. I did have that built in there. Um, and then um, to turn it back off again, it emulates the the confirm menu that the projector screen that the projector has, uh, where it shows a box for a few seconds. And you'll see a light light here. Um, and if I uh, don't click the power button again within the timeout time, that light will go off, and I'll have to click it twice. So. So as you can see, um, it's turning based on time at the moment. Well, I guess maybe you can't see, but it is turning based on time at the moment. Um, and that's not going to work once it's actually connected to the projector because um, it'll probably move slower going up than down, for instance. Um, so we have to work that out still. Uh, and then there's also a couple of issues uh, with the way that it's powered at the moment. And I'll show you that in just a second. All right, here we have a closer look on the actual drive board. All the wiring is on the back. Um, but as you can see, we're using uh, this little um, motor controller here, and the little wires that are there are just commenting up the, uh, the inputs. Um, I also have the outputs commented up, but I'm using larger wires for that. Uh, and that allows me to drive this motor uh, with a smaller uh, motor driver by using both channels that it has um, for one motor. Uh, and if for some reason this isn't able to carry enough current for me, um, I have another one and I'll just basically piggyback it right on top since the input signals will be the same. Uh, basically, it'll be in parallel then. Um, so that is that is not an issue on this. Uh, what is an issue with the powering of it is that at the moment I am powering the um, the motor controller or the, the, the motor voltage is this uh, 5 volts in that goes through the regulator for the WeMOS. Um, I had thought before I looked at it that the WeMOS uh, regulator could handle a wider range of voltages uh, and it turns out it can only go to 5.5 so that's what I have the voltage set at and that limits me on how much uh, power I can run the motor at. I really probably need to run it at more like six and a half, seven volts in order to actually lift um, the the screen. So I'm going to have to add an, uh, another regulator in here that will actually power the uh, WeMOS. Not a big deal, I just don't happen to have the regulator already, so I'm going to have to order that. Um, and then also, as I said, I'm going to have to add in a Hall Effect sensor to read uh, the magnet on the, on the shaft uh, to count rotations so that I can know how far to go down. Um, but I'm also going to add a Hall Effect sensor to that piece of PVC at the bottom of the screen, um, or rather a magnet to the piece of PVC at the bottom of the screen, and a Hall Effect sensor to act as a limit switch to tell me once I have reached uh, the top. So um, with that, I should have enough uh, information in order to be able to smoothly go down to the right height and then come back up uh, to the correct height as well. So that's pretty much up for this all for this update. So that's pretty much all for this update. Um, I just wanted to show you kind of the state of things where where it's at at this point um, and what progress I've made. I do have the Hall Effect sensors so I expect I'll be able to add those pretty quickly um, and as soon as I get that linear um, voltage regulator I should be able to power the ESP uh, from the 
higher battery drive or the motor drive voltage uh, which will allow me to run the motor um, at a higher torque um, which will let me actually run it with the uh, projector screen and yeah I hope to have this whole thing uh, installed and operational pretty soon so look for updates on that thank you very much for watching and subscribing uh, if you liked this please give it a like and maybe share it with somebody uh, who you might think might enjoy it as well thank you very much goodbye